In your opinion, what do you think it is um, that's causing the U.S. to be less less predominant in um, in Greco? What, what, what do, you, do you think? Have you thought about that at all? Like, what do you what do you think it is that's causing it to be more internationally popular and not so much here? So I have my ideas, and I and I'm just speaking from an outsider because I'm not involved with any of this USA wrestling or anything like that anymore. So, you know, I'm just going to say that so I don't hurt anybody's feelings, but. Um, and I don't mean it like in a negative way, but I feel like they don't, the Greco guys don't get the support that the freestyle guys get. They don't have these regional training centers where they're getting paid to coach, getting paid to train other guys. These guys that are coming up, the youth, they're all getting kind of pulled to colleges, which is closely related to freestyle. Um, they go to these regional training centers where they could train freestyle. And I, I know some of them have Greco, but it's just, it just like kind of on the back burner. Um, we lost there, you know, who Ivan Ivanov is. He owns oh, like, yeah. yeah. So he, in my opinion, was a guy who was a game changer coach for myself. He was my coach after I left the Navy team and he's not in the picture anymore. He was producing some big name Greco guys. Uh, myself was one of, you know, I got, an, I was our last Olympic medalist for the U S um, Andy Besick, who was, a world medalist, uh, twice. Um, he's a, he's a product of Yvonne, um, Harry Lester, multiple time world medalist, Olympic team member, Chaz Betts, Olympian, like, and I, you know, I'm not going to name everybody, but Yvonne was like, Yvonne was one of the, the guys who he really built these guys up from little kids. Like some of them were 17, 16 when he started working with them to making multiple Olympic teams and Yvonne is no longer in the picture of coaching. So I say, you know, give an Yvonne type guy. I know he has his own business, but give him an offer. He can't refuse to coach, take care of the Greco guys. Like you take care of the freestyle guys financially, just, you know, help them out. Nobody's trying to become rich wrestling, you know, um, but just take care of them. And that was, kind of always a problem with even with me like I retired really right when I got good is when I left and it was just because I was sick of being broke begging people for sponsorship money just so I could train you know so um, I feel like the the freestyle guys are getting a little bit more actually a lot more support from you know flow wrestling all like the rudest clothing company like all these people they're just they could care less about Greco it's just all about freestyle and uh, yeah, I think, I feel like USA and USA wrestling, you know, without hurting people's feelings, but they're failing the Greco in America. So, well, it's, it's, it's disappointing to see because yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it is like we said, such an awesome sport, man. It's such a cool style. Um, I don't really know. Yeah. I don't really know what, what the solution for that would be. It sounds, it's, it's almost like a cultural, a cultural thing, you know, and um, yeah. If the infrastructure is not in place to support something, it's, it, you know, unless someone comes along who's got a lot of money and a lot of passion for keeping it, you know, for, for, for turning it around, it seems like that's kind of what it would take. So yeah, I guess, I guess the future will, the future will tell, man, but hopefully, hopefully, hopefully Greco comes back up and makes, makes the swing up and gets parallel again to freestyle. Cause it would be, it would be awesome to see both, both styles represented really well in the U S so. 